color kids this is katie carty hiley from rainbowbright.net welcome back to the rainbow land museum and happy holidays so i'm doing a merch haul today and i think i mentioned in my last video or one of my recent videos that i had a box from my friend janine in the uk full of uk goodies but i haven't opened it yet or had not then and i still have it like i said i'm gonna do it live on camera um so that's gonna be kind of the holiday part of this. <laughs> it's kind of like opening a Christmas present because you don't know what's inside and it is a gift. So yeah, that's totally the, the, the holiday part. And I'm wearing my amazing holiday truffle shuffle shirt that I showed off to you in my last video or one of my last videos as well. And it actually fits great. I thought it was going to be a bit big. It's fantastic. So I'm glad I was wrong about that. <laughs> I still haven't tried on the others, um, except for the sweaters, which I put in my notes. Yeah, you saw. They, they fit great. They're amazing. I love them so much. I wore one of them to a holiday party. It's a big hit. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to do a merch haul. But before I get to the surprise, don't know what's in it, merch part, or part of the merch haul, um, there's a couple of things I forgot to show you. Like, one thing that I just absolutely forgot in my last group of vintage items I was showing off because um, after I bought it, I scanned part of it. And you'll s Let me just show you what I'm talking about. Okay, I bought a bag of treat snacks. These are vintage. And I bought them because the artwork is so cute and I don't think I had seen it on anything before. Or maybe this is the same... Mm, no. Okay, someone correct me if I'm wrong. This image might be included in part of like the birthday wrapping paper or something, but even if it is, like the wrapping paper has a very busy background behind it. I like images like this that just have the characters. Um, so they're very easy to edit. <laughs> you can like just select around them and delete whatever's behind them and put a blue background or whatever you want to do with it. Um, but anyway, I love the artwork, so I wanted these. Um, but what I did, because the plastic, as you can see, it's old. Um, because the product is old. So it's a little, eh, you know, the plastic gets whatever over, over the years. Um, and I tried to scan it through the plastic, hoping my scanner would ignore the imperfections in the plastic. It did not. It picked up every single one of them. So I was like, okay, I need to be able to scan this. I really hate to open this at all because it had never been opened before, but I figured out a way to do it that wasn't too intrusive. I just made a little slit on the back here to open it just enough that I could pull one out, scan it, and put it back in. Um, so I did that, but the corners here, and they're still a little bit um, bent. The, this corner was super bent when I first got them, and I was like, you know what? I bet if I leave this in the scanner for a while, because it's a very tight squeeze <laughs> once you get something in my scanner, um, Maybe it'll flatten that out. So I put them in there and promptly forgot I had done so. So I completely forgot to show these to you in my last merch haul. Um, but I was right. It, it actually did help. Like these were super curled before. Now they're just a little bit, a little bit curled, crooked, whatever, bent. Um, but I love these. So I just wanted to show you one of the other things I got that I forgot to show you. And another thing that I'm pretty sure I never showed you. Someone please correct me if I'm wrong, but I've had this for a while now, so I honestly, I could probably go back and find when I got it, but I feel really bad because this was a gift. So here, here we are, you know, gift giving spirit of the holidays. This was given to me by my lovely friend, Bobby Berry, um, and I love it to pieces so much so that after he gave it to me like you know mailed it to me um and I didn't know what it was I opened it up and I freaked out because it was so beautiful um I just immediately put it on my mantle downstairs and forgot I had done so because it just fit in so well um let me show you what it is <laughs> and then I'll try to remember to continue to explain myself so this is like a shadow box frame it's really thick and he has filled it with paper flowers that are just gorgeous in rainbow order, of course, because he knows me so well. Um, and he's, you know, a big Rainbow Bright fan himself. So, and then the, uh, oh, I am, I know the word for this. The thing <laughs> that looks like Rainbow Bright. Um, why can't I think of the word for that? But anyway, decal? Yeah, yeah, decal. There we go. 
is, I don't know if you can see it, it's glittery, it's silver, but it's glittery silver, and I don't know if I can get the light to catch it. Mm, that's always a challenge. <laughs> it's like, how can I position it so you can see the glitter? You might have to just trust me on that. But she's glittery, and she's amazing, and she has a rainbow behind her. Um, but this black frame is actually perfect because all of our kind of decor in our living room um, is black wood or black brown. Um, so I had other things with like, you know, our bookshelves right beside the mantelpiece are black and our coffee table is black and our TV stand table thing is black. Um, so I was just like, oh my God, this fits so well. And typically my husband prefers it's not like a hard fast rule, but he prefers that I keep the Rainbow Bright stuff upstairs. Um, but I do have a few Rainbow Brights here and there <laughs> downstairs and he doesn't care. Um, so I was like, honey, is it okay if I just put this down here? Cause I think it actually looks better here than it would in the museum. I mean, it would look great in the museum as well, but color scheme up here is a lot more white. Um, all of my shelves are white, so it's very light and whatever. Um, and yeah, he was just like, actually, yeah, that's beautiful. That's perfect. But it, right there do it so that's what i did and then i think i forgot to bring it up here and show you guys so i'm really sorry Bobby. <laughs> you know i love it to death i told you so much told you as much when i got it um but i felt really bad the other day when i realized i don't think i'd ever actually shown it off on a video so here i am rectifying my mistake i'm sorry but i love it so much and just wanted to show you guys because it's amazing so yeah okay so that was a gift. I'll get to my UK gift. Um, put this over here. Um, in a moment. One more thing that I purchased since my last merch haul. Um, I got this on eBay and I got so lucky. Okay. So I have a lot of the Rainbow Bright linens, as you can see. There's even a few more like in the attic and but most of them are like repeats. I just have, you know, two or three sets of the sheets and a few of the pillowcases and so forth. Um, and some, I mean, it's just one bed. So if I have like the UK version of the sheets and the American, I can't put them both on. <laughs> um, I don't think I do have the UK set of sheets, but if I did, I would have that conundrum. So the other things are just in the attic space because heat and cold, they don't matter to material. Um, and we haven't had rats or moths or anything that would eat, chew on such things. Anyway, um, but this, is a piece of, I'm pretty sure American, yeah, I don't know if there's a tag on here anywhere, but I'm, I'm almost, actually, yeah, I know it is, because it was, I remember seeing pictures of it in um, uh, catalogs, like Christmas catalogs, holiday catalogs that came out back in the 80s. So this is a Rainbow Bright blanket, and it's like thick fleece, and it's amazing. And I've been wanting one of these for years, but they were always cost prohibitive, I'll say. Um, when they would show up on eBay or other sites because people knew that they were rare. <laughs> um, so they priced them as such and they weren't wrong to do so, but I just was never quite willing to pay what they were going for at those times. Um, although now that I have this in my hand and I'm looking at the artwork, maybe I should have sooner because it's really cute. And there's some art on here that's definitely, as far as I can recall anyway, not used anywhere else. Like real quick. These sprites are cracking me up. So we got the two with the balloons and then this little sprite on the cloud. <laughs> How cute is that? Um, like the rest of it is, you know, Rainbow Bright on Starlight in a, a stance that we've seen many times, but the sprites are really what makes it. Here's another one sleeping on a cloud. How cute is that? So anyway, and it's got this red, uh, I don't know what kind of material on the edge. I think that's the top and the bottom that have that. I don't want to unfold the entire thing because it's pretty darn big. And it actually has, yeah, 1983 Hallmark cards printed on the design. Um, the auction probably said how big it was and I should have pulled that up so I could tell you, but I didn't do that because that would have been smart. <laughs> I'm not in a smart mood today, apparently. But... I finally have this blanket and I'm super excited to add it to the collection. I don't know that I'm going to put it on the bed because the cats also like the bed, as you've seen Wisp on my poor Starlight many times. Um, I don't keep the door to this room open all the time, so they're not constantly up here putting their hair all over everything, but 
there's a decent amount of cat hair on this bed. I try to clean it off every once in a while, but not as often as I should. So, but this I know would just collect their hair really easily. This, this kind of material just sticks to it. So I'll probably put this in the attic space with my other blankets and sheets that I'm not actually having out on display, but I got it and I'm super happy. Um, yeah, I think what I was saying was basically this one, what they, they set it for, a, or they started it at, started the bidding, there we go, at a lower price on eBay, and I just got lucky that nobody bid against me. I really think that's the only reason I got this for such a good deal. Um, yeah, I don't know, but I'm glad that they didn't. Thank you for people for not bidding against me on this. I'm super happy to have it in my collection. Okay, now, I'm only 11 minutes in. Okay, should be able to do this pretty quickly, I think. Um, this is my box from Ginny. I'm super excited. She was like, oh no, now I feel pressure. You're gonna do it <laughs> live. What if you don't like it? It's like, Ginny, have I never, have, have I ever not liked something you gave me? Come on, girl. You know me, you know what I like. I'm excited, okay. Is nervous that I'm gonna like cut something at the top, but okay, good. I did not. <laughs> so, oh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! I just got a peek at something that's in here, and I'm already freaking out. Okay, let me let me hold on. I got I got another note from Janine. I want to read it real quick. Um. <laughs> Oh my god, this is this for several countries. Oh, she's fragile. Mm, mm. Oh my. Oh, this sounds fun. Yes, this is very exciting. Okay, okay. So let's start with just what's on top. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay, that's what she meant. Oh my god. Oh my god. I have not seen one box either. Okay. Maybe I should go beside that first because that's wedged in there. All right, let, let's see what's in here. Get my cover back out. You guys. Like, I don't typically do presents anymore. Like, me and my husband just, we get things throughout for each other throughout the year. We treat trips as gifts, that kind of thing. So I don't get a lot of presents around Christmas, and I'm completely fine with that. But I, I'm kind of getting excited right now. This is totally my Christmas present, and I'm loving it, and I don't even know half of what's in here. But just from what I've already seen, you guys, this is the best Christmas present. And, like, <laughs> see, it's great having... A, a fellow appreciator of collectibles like Janine, um, who can find these things, because I, I know some friends and family want to get me rainbow bright things for birthday or Christmas or whatever, um, and they'll like ask my husband, like, what does she not have? And he's like, I don't know. He's like, if it's new, she has it. If it's old and it's American, she probably has it. Not necessarily, but probably. Uh, if it's old and foreign, she might have it, but it's always just a, uh, he has no idea. And I'm like, there is a list, but they would have so much trouble understanding what's on it. So I'm just like, just don't, just <laughs> please don't, because you'll probably get me something I already have. But someone like Janine, she knows exactly what I have and knows what to look for and does not, oh my goodness, I open this. Um, so she knows what, what to get, um, and it's amazing. This is so much fun. Okay, this is soap, made in England, Bel Air Cosmetics, Winsford, Cheshire. Rainbow Bright is a lovable, creative little girl who uses the colors of the rainbow to color our world and our lives. This is Rainbow Bright soap, bright and colorful with a very special fragrance just for you. Okay, I'm really curious what the special fragrance is. If it still even smells, because sometimes things that are this old lose 
just felt, wow, she was really good about making sure this guy here in one piece. <laughs> That's another thing I really appreciate about you, Janine. You are an amazing packer. Um, Cause yeah, sometimes I get things that I order from eBay or whatever, and I'm just like, oh, that didn't arrive in the state it left <laughs> wherever I purchased it from. Um, but I never have that issue with Janine's presence. Gotta get it. Gotta get it. I promise. I'm getting there. Because I know I've seen pictures of these soaps before. I think there's one of Rainbow Bright and one of Murky, at least. I can't remember if there's other characters. Um, but I know I have pictures of at least one or two of these in my... whatever you call it. Um, in my collectibles gallery on my website. So again, those are not all things that I own. They are Most of them are things I've just taken pictures from eBay or wherever. Um, and put them on my site. Oh, one little piece broke off, but it's okay. It's just on her feet. Ah, come back here. She still looks amazing. So this is Rainbow Bright herself. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. It's so cute. What does she smell like? It smells like... There is a soap that smells like this. I can't quite place it. It's just kind of a generic soap smell. It's not like, you know, strawberry or any kind of fruity kind of scent. But it's it's a nice scent, but I'm not going to use it. But I love this with her standing with her hands behind her back. That's just like the, uh, what is it, the bubble bath. Um, the big plastic thing that that came in. She had her hands behind her back in that stance as well. So... Apparently with bathing goods, she stands with her hands like that. Um, but yeah, these are her little feet that broke off on the very front. But totally not your fault, Janine. I mean, these were packed in super tight. I don't know how that happened, but no biggie, seriously. In the box, it won't even be noticeable. Um, oh yeah, because there's still plastic. That's why I was getting confused. I thought at first I had to open it one way, but it was actually a different way. But yes, it still has the like window plastic in the front here. So I'm going to put her back in. Yeah, that completely covers up like her whole bottom half. So nobody's gonna know, except for those who watch my YouTube channel, that she's missing her feet. <laughs> oh, she looks perfect in there. Oh my God. This is great. Your little face peeks out. <laughs> I love that it's still in the box. Oh my gosh. I don't know. I'll have to look back at my pictures to see if I've seen these in the box before or just loose. I don't know. I honestly don't know. But this box is adorable. I love this scene with all of the color kids in front of Rainbow Land and little sprites. What are they doing over here? They're like... <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell if the one behind them is jumping or they're trying to do like a cheerleader's triangle. I think he's just jumping, but that would be really funny if they were trying to stack themselves on top of each other. <laughs> so anyway, that's number one. Oh my gosh. Uh, gotta find places to put these as I take them out. Oh my god. I'm. Oh my god. There's so many things in here. Okay, this might get split into two videos or, or I might just tack on a second to the end. I don't know if I'm going to get through all of this before my camera wants to cut off on me. We'll see. We'll see. I'll try to get through the tape quickly without destroying anything. That's why I'm like super careful because I never ever want to be the cause of something <laughs> getting broken. Especially when someone went through so much trouble and kindness to send it to me in the first place and- Oh my god! The other, it's the other one! It's murky! <laughs> I was just telling you guys I knew they made a murky one and oh my god, I can already tell that that's what this is. <laughs> this is so exciting! Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh. 
Oh my, oh it is, okay. So the packaging is different on Murky. It's got the pits and <laughs> the grudge buggy. And what's over here? Oh wait, I'm sorry, that wasn't the pits. That's the back of the crunch buggy. There's the pits. They're both kind of pinkish purplish. That's adorable. I love the artwork on these. Um, and once again, she has packed it super carefully in here. Oh my gosh. Let's see about you, Murky. You could come through unscathed. Hope y'all are enjoying watching me unpack stuff. <laughs> so I, really though, I am so excited. I I can't even. His feet are intact. I can tell you that much. <laughs> no broken feet on this guy. I don't think anything's broken. He's perfect. Oh my god. <laughs> Murky Dismal. Oh, he's amazing. I don't know if you can see the detail in his face, but it's actually really well done. <laughs> he's got his creepy eyes and his teeth and his mustache and his big nose. And his hat has the like squares that go around it and little lightning bolts on the side. Oh my gosh, this is in perfect condition. It's perfect! It's perfect! He smells the same. It'd be really funny if he smelled like really bad. <laughs> I don't think you get kids to take a bath that way, but it would be funny. Um, oh my gosh, Janine! These are amazing! I'm pretty sure those are the only two characters that they made into soap like this. Just going from my memory of pictures I've seen, but if any of you know of any others, um, let me know. See, there he is in his little window box. Ah! These are amazing. Okay, so those were from the UK. I see the things I want to show you really badly, but I'm going to do this first because it is packed up. I can't tell quite what it is. So that one, let's see. She described a few of these and where they came from. So those were clearly from England. Um, I haven't gotten to one of these yet. Uh, the, oh, this is, okay. I think this is the bag that's from France. I was like, it looks like a bag. I think it's a bag. Is it a bag? It's a bag! <gasps> oh, that's a bag! Look at the artwork on here! That's amazing! <laughs> I've I've never seen anything with an image like that on it. Like the front is is the logo, like we're used to seeing on a lot of things. But that's unique. That's really unique. And they're, and they're all they're all well, the three of them are holding hands. And then like Lala is like reaching for Rainbow's hand, like, come on, let's all hold hands and skip and jump and play and be awesome. Oh my god, this is in like such good condition. This had to have never been used. No, it just it can't have been. It's it's in too good um shape to have ever been used. Hold on, do I is that where the clip is? Through there. there we go. I had to get the clip through. Um, this is a pretty darn long um, words not happening today. Strap. There we go. That's a pretty long strap for a purse. I mean, a little kid could easily like tie it to make it shorter if you wanted, but let me put this on my shoulder. This is a perfect length for an adult. I'm I'm not kidding. I, I really want to use this, but it's in such good shape. I don't want to mess it up. And she even, well, I mean, it may have been who she got it from, but it's like packed with paper. Um, <laughs> I'm just noticing the papers in a different language. Probably French, because that's where this came from. I just wanted, yeah, that's definitely French. I love it. Um, 
but no i i do that with a lot of my bags i haven't done that so much with the vintage purses maybe i should maybe that would make them display a little better because they have a tendency to fall over um but like my book bags and things like that i i tend to stuff them with tissue paper or something so that they display nicely um so i'm definitely just gonna leave that paper in there especially because it's french paper it'll remind me it's from france although i don't think i'll ever forget because this is amazing um, yeah, it does actually say France on it. It just says 1983 Hallmark. Um, oh, this is actually a, um, why can't I think of words to that pouch? There's, there's a different word for that, isn't there? Mm, I'm not thinking of it. Um, yeah, that's a, that's a thing you can put things on in. I love this artwork so much. And like Buddy Blue and Lala and Canary, like you hardly ever see them on anything. This is so cool. Thank you, Jenny. Okay, um, I think that'll fit there. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, there's a big thing next, because it's right in the middle. Oh, this is the thing that she said. Um. Okay, this one doesn't say where it's from. I've always associated it with Germany for some reason, but it's not just German. I think it's just European. Um... And you guys will know, ah, let me set this down for a second, that I already have one of these, but I certainly did not have one in the box. I don't think I've ever even seen one still in the box. This is the Rainbow Bright Humming Top. So it's like a huge top that you would like, you know, spin on a table or something. Um, and I'm pretty sure I showed you guys before what that looks like. And I even linked you to a video to show you how one works. Um, because I, I was too scared to, to use mine. I didn't want to ruin it. Uh, but this one is, oh my god, it's an amazing condition. And it's, let's see if I can easily take it out without hurting anything. Yeah, okay. Um, did it say... Yeah, okay, made in Germany. So I was right. It, it is associated, as far as where it was made, it was in Germany. But I think it was sold in several European countries. I don't think it was just sold in Germany. Um, like, all of the text on it is English. Um, I was actually looking to see if it said any more about the manufacturer. Nope, the bottom is blank. Um, oh, jo Joka Star. Yeah. And like the O is like a yellow smiley face. So I'm just assuming that's an O. Um, Joe to Star Play Safe Toy. That's all. Yeah. And here it's LBZ above Made in Germany. I don't know. But yeah, you like hold it up like that. And then you do this. But you have to go really fast to make it hum. <laughs> and I'm not going to do that just in my hand because I'll drop it. Um, I might. I might try to do a video with this one. Well, we'll see. Um, but it is an excellent condition. It really is. Like, there's a little bit of marking, and that could just be from sitting in an open box for years. But it, oh my gosh, it does look to be in really good condition. So, if one were gonna work, this one probably would. That's that's exciting. <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh, how was this in here? Was it like this? <laughs> already forgotten yes okay and I can actually close this yeah that flap goes in oh my gosh so again she knew I already had one of these but to have one in the box is amazing I don't think I've ever even seen one in the box um this is so cool <laughs> this is so cool thank you Jenny <laughs> Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. And we're not even done, okay. Oh, I'm saving the best for last. In, in my opinion, the best. All of this is amazing. Um, this is cute. Oh, it's a little pencil pouch. I feel like I've seen a picture of this before, but definitely don't have it. What is this? Oh, they're stuffing it. Oh my goodness. This is just the gift that keeps on giving. How am I doing on time? You know what? Before I open this, I'm going to pause this because I don't want it to cut me off in the middle because that would be sad. So I will be back in just a moment. Okay, now I will open this and see what's in it.
she said something about stickers, so I'm, I'm guessing that's what this is. Um, wait, does that come out? That may just be something she put in to keep those flat, but I want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Nope, I'm going to leave that in there, because that'll be nice, um, yeah, like she did, something to keep it nice and straight and flat, and oh my goodness, it's more of the German stickers! <laughs> Y'all know I am falling in love with these, and oh, <laughs> there's even more! So we've got Rickard Rosenherz, Red Butler, and Sternwichte, which are the sprites. How adorable are they? <laughs> oh, there's more info on the back of this one too. Yeah, okay. That's right. These are the ones that came with, I don't know if they came with the tapes or they were sold separately at the places that sold the tapes, but all of those audio tapes or audio plays that they made and sold in Germany. That's where these originated. Um, oh, there's so many. Okay, got Sabina Zonenstrom. That is Canary Yellow. <laughs> these are so much fun, I'm dying. Oh my God, I got Grumel Grease Crab. Murky. <laughs> Katrin Klee, hold on, let me try that one again. Katrin Kleeblatt, Patio Green. See, this one, her, her name is kind of close to mine. Katrine, Katie, sure, why not? <laughs> I probably identify with Patio Green the most, on, if I'm being honest. Um, and then we've got Rainbow Bright herself, Regina Regenbogen, and Stern Schnuppe and Starlight. Oh, I love these so much. Her dress looks slightly different in that picture. That might be like a prototype thing. Hmm. I don't know. Um, I know there's, I don't know if it's a sticker or, I don't think it is. I feel like there was something else from Germany that I saw once. Maybe I have it. I don't know. But it had a prototype starlight for sure because the star on his head was not actually like sewn on like the ones we all got. It was just like this gold holographic, it was just a different type of material. It was like a thicker plastic and it was just kind of on there. I don't know exactly how it was on there because it wasn't sewn on. But it was different. And then these, um, so those are the smaller ones and they say Europa on them, which is the company right there that made the tapes and on the back they talk about the tapes. So I know where those, these, the, the, those came from or what they were used for, whatever. These, which I think she's already given me one of these, maybe it's Indica? Um, but now I also have Canary Yellow, Sabine's on and Straw in the bigger version. These are so cute! <laughs> These are amazing! Oh my gosh. What did she say? I know she said something about stickers. Um, of which you now have both complete set. Oh, do I? I didn't know that. Oh my god, thank you! <laughs> I hadn't even looked to see. I hadn't like compared it to pictures I had or anything of these to see if there were others I was missing. I hadn't even gotten that far, but Janine did, because she's brilliant. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. So I have two complete sets of German stickers, which is amazing. I have this, which is amazing. Does it say where this is from? Nope, just made in Hong Kong, 1984 Hallmark cards. Anything that's past 83 is typically European. Um, yeah, I can't think of any examples off the top of my head of any American merchandise that says anything other than 83. I'm almost positive that everything American says 83. But we've got stuff from 84 and 85 that came out in different countries. So this is probably, um, if not British, it's at least European for sure. Oh, I love it. I love it. This is so cool. And then there's one other thing before I get to what I freaked out about when I first opened this. Oh, these are adorable and I don't have to... <laughs> I have to open these to scan them. Um, these are Rainbow Bright Party Packs from, I'm guessing, England. I don't know. I've certainly never seen them before, so I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna guess that's probably correct. And again, it shows Indigo on them, which 
Not a, nothing from America did, I swear. <laughs> but now that I've seen that lunchbox that she got me, the red lunchbox that also featured Indigo, um, yeah, this, this may be from the same, same company. It's Deco, D-E-E-K-O. I don't remember if the lunchbox had a company on it, but I'm gonna have to look at it again and, and figure that out now to see if they are connected. Um, and let's look at the artwork up here. So there's Rainbow Bright just being adorable as usual. And then look at Twink on the back. He is so happy. <laughs> oh, these are so cute. Little party bags. I love this. This is such a great idea. Then you can just pull off the ones you want to use. I like having to completely, well, no, I guess if you wanted to use one, you would open that up because the handles are up inside there. But I love that I can display these without having to open them and scan them if I want to without having to open them. <laughs> these are great. Thank you. And then the last thing, and I'll tell you why I'm freaking out about these, and I'm pretty sure this is all of them. So there are these stampers or stamps. They were made in Italy. And well, let me just read the back. I'm pretty certain they were made in Italy. They're only ever sold in Italy and they're so hard to get. Yes, Mattel Italy, um, Mattel SPA, I'm not sure what that is. There's like a number, probably a zip code or something. Allegio Castello Italy. Um, okay, made in Hong Kong, but put out by, I'm guessing, Mattel Italy. Um, Mattel Inc, manufactured for Mattel. Yeah, Rainbow Bright Trademark. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Am I counting right? Did I leave one alpha here? One, two, three, four. I'm counting wrong. Sorry. Yes, there's six. There's six pictures on the back, and then I was counting how many are in here. Oh, yep. This this is a complete set. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay. So these stamps, even loose ones, go for way too much money. <laughs> that plus shipping from Italy is redonkulous. I think I saw somebody selling a set of these once, like a full set, and it was like 99 euros plus like 30 euro euros shipping which is you know at least 150 dollars if not more with the exchange rate um and i was always like oh i would love to have those but i'm just not willing to pay that much money for some stampers but i now have all six of them and i'm i'm freaking out I've wanted these for so long, Janine. I don't know if you know that, but I have. I have wanted these for years and years and years. So let me show them off to you. This is Rainbow Bright. And let's see what it says here. Oh boy, I don't speak Italian at all. Buona giornata a colori. Um. I think that's her name, but I thought they, mm, I thought they had a different name for her in, in Italian. Now I can't think of what it is. Maybe not. Maybe this is just what they, that's her actual name in Italian. I don't know what that stands for. Anybody who speaks Italian, let me know what that means. <laughs> I mean, color, color, but the rest of them, I don't know. I don't know. But according to one of these others, I can kind of, yeah. Oh yeah, and the, okay, okay. We're gonna we're gonna do some language stuff here, um, just because I know some base words that you know are used in multiple languages. So we can we can determine a little bit from some of these, but this is Rainbow Bright clearly, and it's got the other six got their faces shown on the back, so you know which other ones you're missing if you only have one or two. Um, not sure what this other text is. I'm gonna have to trans. I'm gonna have to just type this in and translate it because it says something something rainbow bright and then something something something. something. But the rest of it is all in Italian. Oh, that's interesting. Anyway, these stampers are super cool, um, and I'm pretty sure what is shown on the back is what actually stamps when you stamp them. I'm clearly not opening these ever because they're all mint in box and they're perfect. <laughs> so yeah. But I'm sure you can you can find online what they actually look like the stamps look like. But I'm pretty sure it's just that. I oh my god, I'm so excited by this, you guys. 
I'm trying to read. Mm, I can't read any of the rest of that. Oh, sol sol water soluble. I, I got that one. Um, nope. No idea what the other ones mean. <laughs> but, oh my god. Oh my god. And, okay, and there were stamps made in America, but they don't look like the characters. They're just these little stamps, and they have like a little image of the character, and which is basically this. It's got like a sticker on it that looks like this, and it's just what the image is when you stamp it. And I have a few of those. I had one or two as a kid, so I, I always have like nostalgic feelings for these, but these are a whole nother thing. They are just a collectible on their own. They're a figurine. They're, I mean, it's a good size. I, I don't know, like mm, three or four inches tall, something like that. I, they're, I can't say enough good things about these. And they're just amazing, and it's so cute, and I love her. Okay, and that's just the first one. Okay. Oh, I'm going in no particular order. Here we have Shy Violet. Um, Genio al Lavoro. So Lavoro could probably be Lavender. Um, I'm trying to see if I can get these close enough and, like, in focus so you can see them. They're so adorable. <laughs> and, of course, she's doing the, like, little, oh, Shy. Oh my gosh. That's so cute. She has a little bow on her head and her little bun. <laughs> I love them so much. It's so perfect. Yeah, everything on the on the back is the same. Um yeah. <laughs> this is so much fun. This is so much fun. Okay. Next we have Canary Yellow or Sukan La Vita. So I know, like, Vida is like, at least in Spanish, it's kind of like life, right? Or no? Yeah, something like that. I'm thinking like, living la vida loca. I, I don't know what that means, but la vida, I think that's like a happy thing. Like, living high, living happy, living free, I don't know. And sukan, I mean, it's two words, sukan, probably has something to do with the sun. I don't know. But she's adorable too. Oh, she's got a little, like, tuft of hair on top of her head. She's got her leg warmer. She's got her little wings, her shoulder pad things. Oh, she's so great. She's amazing. <laughs> These are just, oh, I'm trying not to squeeze too hard, but how can I not? Oh, wow. Okay, Patio Green, her card hasn't even been punched. I mean, all of these are in amazing condition. Um, but this is, the, this is the only one that doesn't have a punched card. Um, so her name, Fortunato T, or T, I don't know what T-E, how you pronounce that, but Fortunato, like fortune, like lucky, like the name of her sprite, because she's green. Maybe, you know, in Italy, green is also a lucky color. I don't know. I don't know if that's just an American thing. I mean, clearly not. It's like an Irish thing that we stole, but... I don't know if that's all over Europe or if that's just like in Ireland and I don't know. I don't know these things and I'm not even Wikipedia and I'm not about to pull it up. But anyway, I love that so much. And maybe they pulled that from the name of her sprite as a, as inspiration for her Italian name. I'm not sure. Um, we got Twink, who is, hmm, Divintiamo Amici? Amici? Divintiamo. I have no idea what that stands for. Or means. Not stands for. <laughs> it's not an acronym, Katie. It's a word. I don't know what that word or those words mean, but I will look them up because I'm curious now. But look how cute he is! He's adorable! He's just... Oh, he's just twink. He's just perfect. He's got his little stars on his antenna on his head. Oh, they're so beautiful. And the last, but I think my favorite, because she's hardly ever featured in anything. Baby Bright! They made a Baby Bright stamp, you guys. Like, they didn't do all the color kids, but that's okay, because they did Baby Bright. And if you're going to make only six, and Rainbow Bright and Twink are two of them, clearly you, you can't do all of the color kids. You have to pick and choose a few. But they picked, like, they didn't do the standards, not Red Butler, like we always get with everything. Um, honey, you're standing on my hair. Okay, thank you. Um, yeah, Canary, Shy, Patty, 
those are not always the standards. Like patties in a decent amount of things. Like um, red, yellow, and green. Those three characters were produced in a lot of stuff because they were like wave one um, of the first doll. So I guess, I don't know. Maybe that's why they got more attention. But they did Shy Violet and they did Baby Bright. So they broke the mold. They're like, nope, we're going to branch out into some other characters that are not on everything. And the, this is the one I was just like, oh, I bet I can understand some of these words because her name is, I don't know how to pronounce the first part, C or Sai. It's S E I. I'm going to say C. Adorable. Adorable? Probably how you say that. It's like adorable with an E on the end. Wait, adorable. Now I forget how to spell adorable. A-B-L-E. This is, okay, A-B-I-L-E. So it's, yeah, it's spelled differently, but clearly starts with adora. So it's, it means adorable. Um, but like little adorable one, I guess. See, adorable. Adorable. How did I say it before? Adora. Oh, adora. I don't know, you guys. I don't want to, like, offend anybody trying to sound like Mario and do some kind of crazy Italian accent. But I'm guessing it's a adorable. I can't even say it again. I said it the first time. Hopefully I said it right. But she is so well done. She has a little, like... Oh my gosh. She looks so much like the doll. Oh, sorry. Um... She's got her bloomers. It's all like the colors are right. Her hair is like super pink, a blue bow. She's got a pink, a big pink star on her cheek and a little like rainbow on her belt. She's, she's perfect. Her little shoes. Her little, she's so cute and perfect and I love her. Oh my God. That, okay. That's it. That's, oh, wow. I never expected I don't want to say never maybe one day I would have broken down and just been like okay this year I'm buying those darn stamps but I had not gotten to that point yet and it was probably still gonna be a while so thank you so much Janine for all of this I've got stuff spread out all over my desk and everywhere now and I could not be happier um wow so happy holidays to me and happy holidays to all of you. I hope you're having a fantastic time with family and friends and pets, <laughs> even friends who live across the ocean from you. Thank you so much, Janine. I love all of this so much, so much. I can't wait to put these all in the museum. Um, I still have to put away the stuff from my last videos as well. Whoa, watch it with spills or scissors. <laughs> Don't cut yourself. Um, but yeah, I, I'm super excited to put these in the museum. And um, I think that's all the stuff. I, I do want to pass on one bit of knowledge that's just, sorry, to stick it on to the very end of this merch haul. So if you don't watch the entire thing, you won't know, but I'll post this on social as well. Um, the Rainbow Bright comic, actually I meant to do that yesterday. Oops. The Rainbow Bright comic book got delayed. Issue number three, it was supposed to come out on December 12th. But the artist, the internal artist, uh, got sick, um, so it got delayed, and it just got pushed back by two weeks or three weeks. So it's coming out January 2nd? Hold on. <laughs> Look at my calendar. Is that a Wednesday? Yes. January 2nd. Um, probably, I mean, it probably would have been ready for, like, next week, but the day after Christmas, I can't imagine, is a great day for comic sales. <laughs> so if you're trying to get a larger number of people to buy a thing on a day, probably going with January 2nd was a better idea. I'm just guessing from my very limited knowledge of marketing, <laughs> if that's even the right word for that. Um, but yeah, so that's what it's coming out. So if you are collecting the comics like myself, be on the lookout on 2nd at your local comic book shop because that's when it will be out. Um, and it'll also be out digitally on that date as well. But that's the only news I have and this was so much fun. <laughs> I can't even... I'm just surrounded by happies right now. Everywhere I look, I'm just like, yes, happies, happies, happies. So thank you. Um, I'm totally repeating myself again. But yeah, happy holidays, everyone. Thank you so much for sticking with me this whole year with all of these videos. I look forward to next year. I know at least we're getting comics. I don't know of anything else. Well, and the Coleco game, which will hopefully ship 
someday. Um, I expect that to, to come in the new year, but apart from that, I don't know of anything else. So fingers crossed that Hallmark gives us some more dolls or something like Canary Yellow and Sparkly Minis, <laughs> please. I really think I'm going to start putting that on every single video un until they do it. Um, but yeah, so I'll be here. I mean, I'll, I'll still be collecting stuff no matter if it's new or old, but, and just to tell you guys things and what else? Talk about some Rainbow Bright. That's why I'm here. So I'll see you guys next year. And until then, I hope you guys have a wonderful holiday. So see you next year. Have a rainbow day and year. <laughs> Bye.